Hey everyone. Uh, oof, I've been waiting to go live for so long and uh, I never knew what I was going to do when I went live. But something crazy just happened to me and I feel like I have to tell people. And, and I don't know, like get the warning out there or just help people not to be stupid. Sorry for the hat. Like, oof, I'm like, my hair is a mess. So I just have to do this now. So about, I don't know, an hour ago, 45 minutes ago, I got this uh, this text message saying, once you read this, I can't use it because it's on my phone, once you read this, you will quit your job. So I watched this 15 minute video on get this free account and we'll send you this system and you'll make hundreds of thousands of dollars. And if you don't make hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, we will send you $10,000. We are going to send you $10,000 free of choice no matter what. So I watch this video forever, maybe thinking that they are going to give you some sort of insight of how you're going to make this money. All I see are these, I was broke, I had no money, and then next thing you know it, I'm worth $650,000, but bitch is wearing a fucking Ed Hardy t-shirt. You know what I mean? Like, I'm thinking like a 27-year-old making $650,000 in 30 days is probably going to be wearing some Gucci. She's going to have fucking Dior draped all over her. Guy coming on saying, like, I was borrowing money from my family, and then all of a sudden it was like... I have 450000 If I had $450,000, I'd be on the ground crying, being like, what the fuck? I have four hundred fifty. dollars I have a house. I, I'm secure. I'm set. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to go on, and I'm going to say, I'm going to do it, and it, and it costs me nothing. So by watching this video, they are telling me that I'm going to automatically make $10,000. I shared the link before on my Facebook like page. So go on there and watch this video. Like, it is enticing. It, it, it's great. It is absolutely great. So I'm thinking, I have nothing to do. I'm going to go on here and I'm going to figure this out. So I go on to the link. I press it. It's very short, very simple. You put your name, your email. That's it. Go on. Then it asks you to create an account. So you put your name, your email that you just gave them, and then you just give them a password. It could be anything. I'm pretty sure mine was, here we go, Molly, Molly. Like, just fucking Tyga, you know? Molly, Molly. Just getting it, you know? Anyway, so I put that in. Next thing you fucking know, this guy calls me. So by this point, like, my insides are shaking because I've just watched a video saying that they guarantee that I'm going to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm, like, in a 400-square-foot apartment right now. I'm thinking, I'm going to move this house on top of my new garage. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to make all this money. Like, I'm a bartender. You know, I love my job, but I'm a bartender. Like, I would rather have $550,000 in my bank account. You know what I'm saying? So this guy calls me. And, like... There's, like, mumbo-jumbo happening in the background. Like, I'm focusing on that, thinking, like, oh, my God, like, I'm quitting my job. Like, I'm making hundreds of thousands of dollars in 30 days. And if I don't, I'm still going to make $10,000. So this guy starts talking to me about, oh, um... He's like, I want to make you money. We're going to make money right now. Like, this is going to be amazing. Like, Bradley, congratulations. Like, oh, my God. Like, this guy's kind of fucking hyping me up. You know what I'm saying? And so then I just, he's like, you sound skeptical. And I'm like, well, I received a text message 30 minutes ago, came, like, signed up for an account six minutes ago, and now I have someone on the phone with Mumbo Jumbo in the background, and, like, you know, my insides are still shaking because I honestly thought, like, holy fuck, this is, I'm about to make money. Like, there's a person calling me. And I'm going to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like, Merry Christmas, motherfuckers. But then it was very like, okay, like, it's going to cost $200. $200. And now you're a part of a liquidation account where you can take that money out at any point and you're going to start reaping rewards. So so it's a it's an investing thing. You know what I mean? Like, so that's what that's what they say. They're going to you're investing in and, and that's you're just going to make a lot of money. So my whole thing was like, okay, I understand that. So we're going to go all the way back to the promotional video. And he's like, okay. I was like, so what about Jake, the guy in the video who said, if I give you money, no matter, like, I'm not giving you anything, 
and 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 if I don't make hundreds of thousands of dollars, you're going to give me ten thousand dollars, right? Brittany Graham, I see that scam. Hell yeah, girl. That yeah, fuck. So, so then he says to me, "Well, Jake is a third party, and and anything, anything that he said in that video, that that's up to him." But he will give you that money. I'm like, awesome. Can I get Jake's number? Email. Fucking mailing address. Anything. Nope, I can't give you that information, sir. I'm so sorry. I'm like, okay, where is your company based out of? Because this was a Canuck luck thing. So you can go to the link. Like I said, I, I posted it before because I don't know anything about posting links or anything like that. I'm new. So... Brady, I'm trying to be professional right now. <laughs> anyway, so they, so I'm like, can I get his email? I couldn't get any of that information. So this guy's like, oh, can I please put you on the phone to my, to my supervisor? And I was like, you know what? Yes, I would like to speak to your supervisor. And I was going to kind of ask for it earlier, but I thought, you know what? I better not because I don't, I don't want to seem hostile or whatever. I just want to play you a little bit of what this guy sounded like on the phone with me. Like, this guy is in a financial, he, he's in finances, you know what I mean? Like, he wants me to get a lot of money because he's going to make a lot of money. And this is how he speaks to me. Just. Oh, I'll, like, I'll do it with the other guy. Like, you're busy. You're the manager. Like, I like the other guy. I'm yeah. not busy. I'm the manager and you'll work with me. I want Can you hear to this? So I want to talk to the other guy because I want to tell him that this guy's hostile. Where are you from in Canada? Which province? Uh, PEI. Where is that? Which province? Prince Edward Island. Oh, okay. What's your postal code? Uh, I'm giving completely fake information right now. Come again, V? C is in cat. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna, I was going to give him my old address yeah. to Prince Edward Island because the house doesn't exist anymore. So now he starts asking me about my credit card, and there's no fucking way I'm giving this guy my information. Uh, see, I, I don't know. Uh, 18. Oh, Sean, I know that. Oh no, sorry. I need the exact details. I need the exact details. We're making a deposit. You're receiving a message from your bank. You will see the exact amount. Did you talk about my you bank? You need to send a message back to approve the transaction. The money stays yours. We make can't. money out of money. I need the exact details. You can't tell me. Well, can I, like, call you back and call my bank? No, you cannot call me back. I am sorry. I'm not wasting my time. You said you want to make money. It's now or good luck. All good. You're a great guy, I said. You don't know what to do with me. You guys fuck. No, I just think I you're being a little hostile. And like, yes, I am, but this is why I'm making money and you're not. And again, I'm not better than you. I'm just trying you to change something in your life. That's what I'm doing, Jenny. You know like, I am, because I wanted to tell you guys all about why? this. Because I'll make more money. Baby, I tried to get someone trying to scam me. Oh, no, I get that. I just feel like I just got to do some I'm more. I'm going to repeat again, okay? It's a liquid account. You don't like it. So. He continues on about talking about how, like, it's a liquid account, and I can take the money out whenever I want. But my whole thing is, is if you, if, if I can take the money out, then you can take the money out, right? But I don't want to say that because I don't want him to think, like, oh, this guy's a whatever. So later on, I'm talking about how I want to go and take my information to, like, can I get your email? And he's like, why do you want my email? And I'm like, well, don't you think it would be smart for me to get... Like, you know, so I could get some information. So then he's like, oh, like, you don't need my email, blah, blah. And I was like, well, just give me your email. I'm just trying to find that video. Anyways, so he's like, what bank are you with? And I was like, RBC. As soon as I mention RBC, he hangs up. As if, like, my bank is not honoring his fucked up system. I guess what I'm trying to say is you just really have to be careful if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And at the end of the day, you work fucking hard for your money. And if someone's that you are not getting any information from, if someone just calls you up out of the fucking blue, you need to think about that. 
you need to think about why these people are calling you. What are they making out of it? If you're giving them your credit card information, what's stopping them from taking money out of your account? I This guy was so fucked up, I can't even believe it. Like, he was just crazy. And at the end of the day, like, you need to be safe and you need to be, like, really secure. Hold on. So I just want to take you... Ugh, fuck, this is terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm, like, terrible at this. Okay, so give me your email. And then I'll no. email you, I'm and then we can... Let's say, hypothetically, you got my email. I want to read things to make me, because to make then money. you... Stop interrupting me. You can send me more information that I can read over and perhaps even bring to my bank, and they'll no, be like, yep, this... I prefer to tell you which information you want. I want to be able to bring stuff to my bank. Don't you Sorry. think... Wouldn't you, as someone who's in the financial... You do not want to listen to anything. As someone who is in... The financial business, wouldn't you think it's smart for me before handing over my finances, go to my bank and say, yes, this is smart. One trade of $10. Now Wait, it's $10. Me. You're serious? Should cost more than that. No, I feel my bank would not laugh at me for even going up to them and being like, which bank you are? Which bank you are? Here it comes. I'm, you, you have that information because you... Because he kept telling me my bank sent him it. Which you are? Can I have this information? Well, how did you get my number if not from my credit card? But you didn't give me your credit card. I don't okay, yes, I technically saw that information and gave him my number, but my that's not what I'm trying to get at. Telephone number. Telephone number because you send us your information when you watch the video, you fill it in. But how did... Listen, which bank you are? Which bank you are? RBC. Bye bye. Bye bye. Boom. Motherfucker, you trying to scam me? Ugh, god damn it. Thank you, RBC. Imagine I said something like Scotia Bank on PEI. Sean Lloyd made a comment earlier saying that people still live there, so it's not a fake place. I know that and I understand. My insides, you guys have to understand, like, I'm a logical person. My boyfriend has made me that way. But when he called me, I was shaking. I was like, don't cry. Don't cry, because, like, if you show him your weakness, then he's got you. And I knew there was just, it was just too good to be true, and it was, and it's like, I was so sad, because you know what, I really thought to myself, like, you're gonna make a lot of money, and, like, your family's gonna have a great Christmas, you know, like, my sister's having a baby, I, I could give her ten grand. Who the fuck does that? I would. And now I can't, because these people try to scam me. And, like, I'm just thinking to myself, like, imagine I gave him that $200, you know what I mean? Imagine I didn't have that little Ryan Shantz in the back of my brain saying, like, are you a fucking idiot? Are you a fucking idiot? So, I, I was like, I'm gonna test this. And it was too good to be true. I gotta go to work at five. <laughs> I'm not gonna make hundreds of thousands of dollars and I've just wasted the past like two hours of my life. But I got to go live with you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. It was fucked. But you under like you heard how hostile they were like and this other guy was like to my Italians out there I love you but some of you have a very sleazy way of talking. You know this. You know this. And he's like, okay, like, you didn't hear the other guy, the first guy who messaged, like, who actually called me. He's like, you want to make money, okay? Okay? And it kept being, like, positive reinforcements. Like, you want to do this. This is the right thing. And in my head, I was like, I do want to do this. I want to think this is the right thing. But, like, it's not. <laughs> I, but I had to, like, make it go because I was, like, in my head, I was, like, oh, maybe this will be the perfect thing to go live with. Like, maybe people need to know this. And I feel like you do. And now that you do, wearing pajama bottoms, <laughs> now that you do, I hope that this message gets spread. I hope that you, if you ever receive a message on your phone that's too good to be true, it fucking is. Like, uh, thank God I live in Toronto. And there are some shady-ass motherfuckers here because now I'm jaded. 
and I'm a jaded person, and I look at everything with a grain of salt, and I take everything that way. I don't want to stop talking to you, but I feel like if I don't, I'll just ramble about what a fucking asshole that guy was. And I hope you enjoyed it, and that's it. Bye, guys. Don't get fucked. Don't get scammed. And be nice to each other. See ya.